Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking or feeling about you? Uh, what are their intentions towards you? What do you need to know about how they view you or this connection? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're gonna look at all of that today. And let's jump right in for Sagittarius. Let's see just guys, messages, please guidance. For Sagittarius in love. What does Sagittarius need to know regarding love? Sagittarius need to know when it comes to love. Oh, I got two. Lasting promise and falling leaves. So falling leaves is a card about changes, transition, changes over time. And lasting promise is a card about commitment, longevity, future. Time changes everything with the Falling Leaves card. So maybe something has changed in a connection here over time. Maybe something started off great and it has changed since then. I feel like someone's making a change here in their life and it's gonna affect a commitment perhaps. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more for Sagittarius. What do they need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know when it comes to love? Why do I keep getting two cards? I really, my intent was one for each. Okay. Forgiving and learning and chemistry. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Interesting. You know, Sagittarius... Unfortunately, the energy that I'm picking up, you know, obviously it'll be unfortunate for some of you and for others, you're going to be very happy. Um, I feel like someone is attracted, someone in a commitment perhaps is, is becoming attracted to something else. And I feel like they're leaving the past behind for this new potential beginning or this new, new beginning somewhere else, perhaps. We'll see. Tell me more for Sagittarius. What do we need to know for Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? When it comes to love. What does Sagittarius need to know? When it comes to new love. Okay. We have the Three of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Okay, this Two of Pentacles keeps coming up. I've used three different decks for the fire signs. <laughs> and uh, I, I keep getting this Three of Pentacles. I get a lot of Pentacles, actually, for the fire signs. The Sun. Nope, Ace of Wands. Just kidding. Okay. Why did I? Okay, so I'm gonna take that back. <laughs> Sagittarius. I know I was like, no, it's not the sun. But then I'm looking at it, I'm like, no, it is. And the sun, for me as a reader, it has a lot to do with clarity. I feel like someone knows exactly what new beginning they want, which makes sense with the other cards that I've, you know, we, 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 well, what I was saying earlier about someone going after something new, right? And in this particular deck, this even reminds me of the fool as well. There's an animal at like the edge of a cliff. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to clarify that, obviously. But I think this is about someone being very clear about a new beginning they want to take in their life. But before they get there, I feel like there's a lot of back and forth. Maybe there's a lot going on, a lot to deal with, a lot to balance. So let's see what this is about. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Page of Wands. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Mm. 
Oh no, that there is pentacles. Five of pentacles and temperance. Sagittarius energy. Yeah, something here happened over time. Um, bottom of the deck, I have the page of cups. So this is what I'm getting. Um, some of you could work with this person. Some of you could have already known this person for a long time. Maybe you know each other from childhood, from school, whatever. Um, I feel like over time, someone has been dealing with another situation, right? I'm not going to say it's another partner, you know, another commitment, but I feel like for a lot of you, it is. For a lot of you, this person has been in a commitment and possibly has been in a commitment for a long time. But I feel like those feelings have changed over time. And I feel like this person is now interested in something else. You know, maybe they've developed feelings over time. You know, I have the page of cups, four of swords here, and then the two of swords. Exactly. I feel like someone developed feelings over time and now they're stuck in an undecisive or indecisive decision or indecisive um, men, men, energy, I guess I should say. I feel like for a lot of you Sagittarius, and of course flip this energy if it resonates more for you. But I'm speaking to Sagittarius, right? This is a Sagittarius reading. So I feel for a lot of Sagittarians out there, you have caused someone to be conflicted. Either they're thinking a lot about you. Maybe they're not happy where they're at and they're thinking of you. Maybe they see you all over, you know, you're, you're around them in some way or on social media. Tell me about temperance. What is temperance about here? Why is temperance here? The lovers. Gemini energy. This is about a partnership. Five of swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Five of swords, five of pentacles. Um, and the hangman. Yeah, exactly. This is that energy. Um, I feel like someone's in a difficult situation. Someone here is um, maybe feeling that they're going to be unfair to someone. Uh, or there's probably someone that's playing dirty, not playing fair, and I feel like this is messing with them. Maybe being interested in you, Sagittarius, means that they have to be deceptive to someone else, or that they have to hide something from someone, or maybe they feel like they're being a bad person. This is a very specific reading, so if it, if it resonates for you, let me know. Ah! You see what's going on? My decks have been crazy today. Okay, we have Justice and the Emperor, Aries and Libra energy here. We have the Ace of Swords, another Ace, and then we have the Five of Wands. I feel like someone being honest is going to cause issues, um, but it's the right thing to do. It would bring, bring back stability to someone who's so unbalanced. I'm also picking up that this would be a final decision of some sort. Like this is someone... As like an ultimatum. There may be several people involved. This is the third five that comes up. Five of Wands. So challenges, obstacles, conflict. There is conflict that would surround this decision. And that's why someone's having such a hard time. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Tell me about the two of pentacles and it could even be that someone's been interested in two people at the same time here the wheel of fortune tell me about the two of pentacles mm. tell me about the two of pentacles oh my gosh page of wands the hermit virgo energy what's this the fool bottom of the deck the tower yeah I feel like this is someone that's literally waiting for the right time to make this decision, to, to take this risk. I feel like this is someone who's just waiting for that time to like go after what they want with the Knight of Wands. This is something they've really thought about, planned with the Hermit card, Virgo energy here. Um, but I feel like it's, it's, it, a tower is coming. I mean, a tower is coming. And then right after that, I have the higher font. A number, another five, by the way. 
So it's, this, I feel, is a tower in a commitment of some sort. Very, very interesting. And Sagittarius, you've had this, you know, energy, lingering energy of a tower coming. It's been in your other readings, so feel free to check out your playlist because it's there. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Okay, tell me about this Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Oh my God, that is way too many. I am not taking all of those. Nope, nope. Okay, yeah, I am. Hang on. <laughs> they showed me the moon and they were like, you don't know why we're, why all of these are here. Which they're right. I have to look at them first. Okay, fine. <sighs> There's so many. Okay, this reading has, this deck has not been, my decks today for all three fire signs have been a mess. They don't want to stay in my hands. Cards are flying out. So, you know, this is very on theme right now. Okay, Ace of Wands and the Moon. Um, Pisces energy here. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. Jeez, Nine of Wands, the Star, Aquarius energy, and the Knight of Swords to the bottom. The Empress, wow. Didn't we have the, the Emperor come out? Yep, Emperor, Empress, okay. Give me a second. <laughs> Okay, so there's there's hope and faith because there's no there's no guarantees with the moon. Um, and again, I'm seeing this as the sun. I, I can't stop seeing this as kind of like knowing where you're headed. Um, I feel like someone knows how they, what they want very clearly, but not how to get there. How long will it take? Will it be successful? Is this the right decision? Someone won't know until the decision is made. That's why hope is here. A wish. Um, Faith in something working out with their empress. But I also feel like someone's almost like expecting the fallout or prepared for what's coming, right? The nine of wands. This is this is someone that's very wary, uh, protective, guarded. Even though they're wounded from everything that's happened, it's almost like this person's like trying to mentally prepare themselves for what's coming. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Page of Cups. This is communicating their feelings, talking to somebody. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Queen of Swords, King of Cups. This King of Cups showed up before. the high priestess okay so this is this is um clearing the air opening up communication this is getting to the bottom of what's hidden with the high priestess the moon we have the queen of swords here and then i'm seeing this as the sun clarity knight of swords clarity page of cups feelings so what i'm getting here is someone that's being very open about what they want um, despite the fact they don't know what's going to happen after. And that's why I feel like this is a tower. Because once this is revealed, once this is communicated, there's no going back. Sagittarius, this could be you or your person. I feel like for a lot of you, this is your person. Knight of Cups. Yeah, I'm clarifying the moon here. Someone's hidden their feelings. And they don't want to hide anymore. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. They're gonna go after this new opportunity. Okay, so let me see where all of this is headed, Sagittarius. I feel like this reading has been all over the place. I apologize, it's not been a, a very normal day. <laughs> um, not when it comes to readings anyway. So let's see. And I like using different decks for this very reason, just in case, but it doesn't matter what deck I'm using. The message is either very specific or the you know the cards are flying out of the deck or both what's next what's next what can Sagittarius expect next spirit what can Sagittarius expect next what's next what's next what can Sagittarius expect next six 
six of swords. What's next? What's next for Sagittarius? The eight of cups. Okay. So someone's walking away. Very clear message. Four of cups. Yeah. Someone's walking away here because they're not happy. Uh, they're not satisfied. Um, there's something missing for them. And so they're willing to, to take this departure. I'm telling you, this is this has been a pretty clear reading from the start. I feel like someone is leaving something behind for something new. King of Pentacles, King of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody that knows. And the sun. Thank you, spirit. I know I'm not. I don't just. There's a reason why I pick up energies. Remember what I said with the Ace of Wands that I saw the sun? Here it is. And look, it's with the Six of Swords. So this is someone that clearly knows where they're going. I don't think this is someone that knows for a fact they're going to be happier elsewhere because there's no way to know that. I mean, we can hope for that. It's almost like this person is almost like, maybe I won't be 100,000% happier, but I know this is what's best for me at this time. And I don't know the future, Seven of Pentacles. I don't know how this is going to work out, but I'm willing to try. You know, this is what someone's thinking. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups. And when I see the King of Pentacles with the King of Wands, I think of someone that's taking action in a very deliberate way. Someone that's really thought things through, planned things, you know, which the King of Wands is not a planner. But when I see these two together, that's what I'm thinking. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Nine of Swords. Fear, anxiety. Yeah, this is someone that I feel scared or stressed. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Page of Swords. And the Moon. Okay, so this is someone that's just, they're stressed about the unknown. Um, maybe they are opening up communication with you and they're stressed about how you're going to take it. You know, how will you react? Um, but I feel like more than anything, this is someone that they are scared because they know what's coming, but they're not so scared that they're just going to stop. You know, I don't feel like this is someone that's going to stop their plan. Yep. There's the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like this is someone that's still going to try to go after this opportunity, still going to try to do what they want to do to see where this is going where this is headed there's the wheel yeah two cards about opportunity for me i feel like this is someone that is not sure this is someone that's not sure how how things will play out either how they're going to talk to you or how they're going to make this happen um or the fact that they already know a tower is necessary and they know it's going to be hard but i feel like this is someone that's still going to take this journey anyway that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated for you. If you did, leave a comment down below. Say hello. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos from me. I appreciate all of your support. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers, which is amazing to me. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.